Preps. I hope you're all well and enjoying doing your activities at home. Today's writing activity is about Tiddalik the Frog. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video about Tiddalik and now you get to do a crafty activity about Tiddalik the Frog. So can you see my Tiddalik drawing? And only half of Tiddalik is drawn and you have to draw the other half. And this could be quite tricky so Mrs. S was a little bit smart and I did it in grey lead first just in case I wanted to rub some bits out. And now I'm going to trace over it with my texture. So what you have to do is try and draw the other half of Tiddalik. Um, it's a little bit tricky to try and get the parts to match. And I did spend some time doing this in grey lead so that I could go over the top of it. And that way, if I made a mistake and I didn't like it, I could rub it, rub it out. Now the legs were a little bit tricky and you can see that when I finish my legs in black texture, that you'll find that they're not perfect. But you know, we're not all great artists like Mrs. Mack. She's a good artist and she likes drawing. I like drawing too, but I'm not fantastic at it. But anyway, you can see that it kind of looks like... That's great. ...tiddalick a little bit. So then you can colour tiddalick in. I'm going to give him some blue eyes. I quite enjoyed the video about tiddalick and how he... I think this is where he was big and fat when he swallowed up all the water and was a little bit selfish and made the others go without water so they were all thirsty which was a bit mean of him really so you can color in much better than me I'm a doing it a little bit rushed just so that I can show you what to do but that's okay you will get the idea. Colour in his legs. Colour in his other leg. This leg's very fat. Must have a lot of water in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am going to do a big orange mouth, I think. And then uh, after that, I think that we should cut Tiddalik out so that we can stick him in your book because I don't think you can um, write about him and stick this in underneath. So I'll quickly cut him out. Don't throw this bit out at the top because you might need to spell Tiddalik. So you can use that word at the top of the page to use in your writing, which is a good trick. You have to use the things around you to help you write. So quickly, sorry I'm not cutting him out very well, but I am trying my best. I'm going a bit fast. So what I'm going to do is stick my tiddalick in, in your writing book, or in your book that you have at home. I'll stick it in there. Oh, he just fits, Mrs. Mack. He's on a bit of a lean, but you know, that's That'll, okay. His legs are in. Yeah, his legs are in. So then you can draw about, oh, so you can write your sentence about your activity. And I'm going to write, I'm going to use this word tiddalick, which you can use at home. I'm going to write, I did, and you can sound that word out, because it's one of our e e e words, d, e, d, and then I'm going to use this part that I cut off to spell tiddalick. And it's a big T, an uppercase T, because Tiddalik is his name. So we have to give that a uppercase letter. I did Tiddalik and ah, ah, n, d, a, 
and it was, and remember the was, the A in was is an O sound, but it's actually an A, was. Now, Mrs. Mack, I found this one a little bit hard because um, my sides don't quite match and I'm not sure that, you know, it's quite a difficult one. So I'm going to say it was, and it was hard. So <laughs> hard. It's got the R sound in the middle. You might be able to find the R sound on your thrust chart. It's actually a R and then a D, D, D at the end. And it was hard. And we always end our writing with a full stop. So you might like to write, it was fun. Um, it was easy if you're good at, at, at colouring in and drawing or you might find it hard like I did. So you might like to write it was hard. Okay, I hope you enjoy doing that writing activity today on Tiddly. Okay, see you next time perhaps. Bye.